From our Stars and Dog segment, it's time for this week's Dog. Our Dog of the Week, like Ryan said, is Tenet Fintech Group, symbol PKK on the Canadian Security Exchange. Tenet is a fintech technology service provider and operator of Cubular Business Hub, which gives small to medium-sized businesses access to financing, advertising, networking, and business intelligent tools. The company operates in both Canada and China. The stock has fallen roughly 66% to only 13 cents over the past month, leaving the company at a market cap of about 13 million. This recent downfall was the continuation of the share price just collapsing since its high in September of 2021 of $13.60. So effectively, the stock has fallen over 99% since that, making even some of the worst cryptocurrencies blush. So what has caused the utter collapse in share price? Looking at the past year, the company saw a massive decrease in revenue from $34.7 million in Q1 2022 to $29.5 million in Q1 2023, effectively quartering the revenue. As well, the net loss didn't get any better. The net loss actually increased to $8.7 million from a loss of only $3.4 million. And that's not exactly what you want to see in a growing company. Barring one quarter in 2021, the company has been continuously gap unprofitable. So all the valuation is effectively coming from the, the expected growth. So to even see a slowing growth for a company that is valued like this, it'd be worrisome. But to see the utter evisceration of the company's revenue is just eviscerating as well, the investor's financial hope. But that's not even the end of the bad news. At the end of April, the board removed the now former CEO, Johnson Joseph, who has been accused of market manipulation of tenant share price from April 2020 to November 2021, which if you recall the dates, that was during the time of their all-time high. The removal of Mr. Joseph has caused a proxy battle now ensuing between the board of the company and Mr. Joseph. But that's not even the end of the bad news. The company is now short on cash to even meet the most basic of working capital, their payroll. So it's now raising money through a private placement for up to $3 million through that placement. So overall, collapsing stock price, disintegrating revenue, squabbling management team, and no cash to even run the company, which solidifies Tenant as our dog of the week. For sure. Do we want to talk about Do it? Do we now? comment on this before you get <laughs> into you, you want to add anything to that? Well, I'm just I'm just amazed that they can do a private place. Yeah, I mean that's uh, just the most interesting thing about this company right now is that that her name is a palindrome. To be honest, like uh, uh, to me, I don't. Uh, well, I can't believe this share price went to twelve dollars in that range. We got many questions on them on the way and advised against the business because of where they were doing business. The uh, the business was not profitable. There was high growth, not profitable, and now you know you've seen it fall off a cliff. Um, you know, it's not not very surprising to us. It's it's maybe shocking to see you know the ninety nine percent decline, but um, you know you. You need to actually make money as a business uh, to actually hold a share price. And uh, in this case, really, there's no money being made here. And uh, now tons of losses and those losses are accelerating. And it looks like other issues outside of the, fi- you know, the, just the numbers that you see on the page here. So, you know, it's just a case of uh, people get greedy and see growth uh, that they think is going to extrapolate out into the future continue to continue to extrapolate out and not recognizing the underlying risk in the business and they're definitely here you know kind of punching us in the face and uh, this is why you need quality cash flowing businesses that are growing not uh, these type of operations to be honest who here thinks that brett's going to receive a ton of angry comments Oh, probably. Or has it gone down so much that everybody will just say, I hate it. No, no. This looks like the type of company. I I, I was actually reading through some. Brett doesn't understand the technology. No, no, I I was reading (laughs) through some of the bowl boards on it, and shareholders are even more conflicted, I think, than even some of the board members. They're going back and forth on each other. It's just a bunch of piranhas going after each other at this point. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, but we'll we'll you go back. Understand the <laughs> look, <laughs> look at our previous up. videos on the company, right? Mm-hmm. Look at our previous videos on the company. We're warning against being invested based on the valuations of this company. And now, the, avoiding poor investment decisions like this is one of the best ways to make money, keeping your money over the long term, and putting it in good companies. 
So avoiding basically wiping out all your capital in a company like this is something you need to do in your portfolio.